Um, great. Now, to begin, Doc would like to honor the land that we're on, which has been the site of human activity for thousands of years. Doc is a national organization, but the head office is located on the traditional territories of the Huron-Wenda, the Anishinaabek, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, and more recently, the Mississaugas of the Credit River First Nations. Ontario is covered by 46 treaties and other agreements and is home to many indigenous nations from across Turtle Island, including the Inuit and the Métis. These treaties and other agreements, including the One Dish with One Spoon Wampum Belt Covenant, are agreements to peacefully share and care for the land and its resources. Other indigenous nations, Europeans and newcomers were invited into this covenant in the spirit of respect, peace and friendship. We're mindful of broken covenants and we strive to make this right with the land and with each other. We're all treaty people. Many of us have come here as settlers, immigrants, newcomers in this generation and other generations past. Some of us came here forcibly, particularly as a result of the transatlantic slave trade. We invite you to explore native land digital that strives to create and foster conversations about the history of colonialism, indigenous ways of knowing and settler indigenous relations. I invite you to visit the site uh, native-land.ca. Now, as I said, today's conversation is an introduction to Tang, the subscription-based author-driven documentary streaming website. And Documentary Organization of Canada actually partnered with Tank last year for a special program called Docs from the Vault, which was a curated selection of films by Doc members, some of their early films that had never been streamed before and were locked away in vaults, mostly on tapes. So we're really happy to be back with Tank uh, to sort of see what they could offer our Doc members. Remember that as members of Doc, you get 40% off on your subscription to Tank. And you can find out more information by going to the benefits side of the DOC organization website. Now, today we're going to start with a presentation from Florence and Naomi, and that'll be followed by a discussion. And we have time for questions from the audience. So if you have questions, please make sure that you pop them into the Q&A box at the bottom of your control panel. So don't put them in the chat box, please put them in the Q&A box. Um, and please make sure that you keep your audio on mute, but we love to see all of your lovely faces. So if you want to keep your camera on, that'll be great. It's nice to see who's in the room. We're also going to be recording today's session. So if you know someone who wanted to join us but couldn't, they can get in touch with any of the DOC staff and they'll receive a recording of today's session. Now to begin, we're going to start with a poll. Tazine has prepared um, three questions that are gonna pop up on your screen. This will give us a sense of who's here today. So you'll see on your screen right now, hopefully a poll popping up and you've got three questions. We'll give you a minute to answer. Number one, have you ever had your documentary distributed online? Yes or no? Number two, do you have a hard time finding author-driven docs online? And number three, have you heard of Tank before this webinar? So please take a minute and answer. I will do so as well. And once everybody has answered, we will share the results of the poll right away. Give you another minute and Tazim will share the results with us. All right, Tazim, are we ready with the results? There we go. So you see that most of you have not had your films distributed. And a lot of people have problems, 67% finding docs, author-driven docs online. Great, this is good to know. And the majority have not heard of Tank. 
Well, that's a great segue into hearing all about what Tank is about. Um, I'm going to ask uh, Florence and Naomi to introduce themselves first before we get a bit more of an introduction to Tank. So Florence, would you like to start and tell us a little bit about yourself? Yes, I'll be really brief. Um, I'm Florence Lamotte. I'm co-founder and co-director of Tank in Canada. I've previously worked in Tank in France and we'll tell you the, the whole history um, later on. But we started working on that project, I think, in 2018, and we launched the platform in 2020, and I've been co-director since then. Great. Thank you, Florence. And Naomi, over to you. Hello, I am Naomi de Caridenio. I am uh, the co-director and artistic director of Tank. I'm with Florence since the beginning of the project. I have a background in cinema and uh, documentary. And um, my English isn't that good, so <laughs> I try my best. But if ever you don't understand what I say, don't hesitate to just ask a question or ask me to uh, be more precise. And I'll try to find some synonyms on my uh, computer. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now uh, the floor is all yours. We'd love to hear what Tank is all about before we ask you some more questions. All right. OK, uh, do you hear us well? Yeah, okay. It's always a little bit abstract to do a Zoom presentation, but... Uh, um, I don't, yeah, okay. So we'll first present a bit like what's the, the core of the project, and then we'll show you our platform so you can see how it works and what is our specific model. Um, so basically, Tank is a SVOD, so subscription-based service video on demand platform entirely dedicated to author and independent documentary films. Our mission is to defend and showcase author documentary films and, in, in, and eventually to directly support documentary creation and production. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah. so at the beginning of the project, it all started in France and it was first created in 2016 in Lusas, which is a small town in a remote area of France, France that is really special because it's known as the um, uh, village of a documentary because there are a lot of uh, structures that work there that are undocumentary. And the last project of the little village that is uh, like um, the, not the chief, but the person that was in charge of all that development and that energy in that village is Jean-Marie Barbe, that was also a producer, producer and a filmmaker himself. And the last project was the plat to design a platform because we needed the, the the ecosystem needed a tool to have a place for the, the films that disappeared after their little life. That is like after one year, you go in festival, you go in some theater when you are lucky enough, but then what, what, where go the documentaries? So it was a distribution tool, that platform, that was designed to valorize and showcase documentary filmmaking. And also it was a way to counter the disengagement of TV broadcasters, which was, that was happening in France, but it's the same portrait that we came, that we have here in Canada. And Tank, Tank is a collective project. So filmmakers, distrib distributors, producers joined together and created the cooperative. And the first objective was to reach enough subscribers to self-finance its distribution activity. And once, that was to be done, then they would support documentary filmmaking, acting in a similar way as a TV used to do by purchasing licenses for films and production and helping with postcode. And today, Tank and France has uh, about um, 16,000 subscribers and is now one of the leading independent platform in Europe and is considered a reference and point of view documentary. So we, Florence and I, went to France and we, <laughs> can you, can you can go <laughs> we went to France and then we decided to bring that project in Quebec uh, because we, need, we felt the same, uh, the same problem. We had to face the same problem in the ecosystem of documentary here. Yeah, so basically the idea was that we had difficulty, we were facing the same challenge, challenges, so difficulty to reach audiences, uh, to get outside of festivals, and for films to find funding to be produced. Um, so after some discussion with Tank's team in France um, and some of the documentary actors uh, here in Canada, we created the Canadian version of Tank officially in 
2019. So that's it. that is the legal structure, if I may say. And we launched Tank Canada, so the platform in March 2020. Our model is a bit unique. Um, we're two different organizations. Both of us are cooperatives. We're totally independent from Tank in France. So we have like our hands in the project and we can decide what we want to do. But we benefit from their structure and the platform that they develop. That is, you're going to see like a really, really tool, a really, really fine tool for showcasing films. Um, and if we did not have that, it would have been impossible to found such a project here in Canada. So it's it's a great opportunity. It was, a, it was just a win-win for everybody and a great opportunity for us that we couldn't, like, it was a, we had to do it, basically. Uh, we will show you our beautiful platform, which is also uh, developed with, uh, with Fran the France. Um, mm -hmm. Our model is based, our uh, programming model uh, is Just, based. Can you see our screen now? Can you see the, perfect. Uh, our model is based on curation. Um, we seek to enhance discoverability of every film on tank. So our model and website have been designed for this. So we have each week we uh, broadcast five new films that are available on the platform for two months. So that gives to each subscribers, when you subscribe to the platform, you have around 40 films available at all time. And it's a lineup that is constantly renewed. So each week we have five new films and five films that go away from the platform. Each film is carefully selected by a big programming team. So we are working with around 15 programmers uh, that all have specialization. Some are more like in politics, in history, in arts, environment. Some are more in experimental films. And um, I, as the artistic director, I try to arrange the programming so that it's balanced and uh, that we have like some big name of the documentary history. And we have also some little game that we just find. And, and it's really, um, there's a complete freedom in what we present, which is really the, I think the most interesting thing with Tank is that we are online and we are a platform. So we don't have any issue um, looking for, uh, uh, prime uh, climate, uh, like a uh, new, new movies, release, new release. Um, and we can have, we don't have also like uh, limits of time. We can have movies that are four hours long as we can have a movie that is three minutes and we will defend it with the same passion and the same uh, attention. Each movie is really selected by one person and defended and bringing on the platform so that is also helping the audience to discover the movie because we know how and on our internet there are so many big data we are like it's so vertiginous how many contents they can, there can be on internet so we really work as curator and as a kind of a like in a library where we where we select some few films few but in a better way and um, we can have movies from everywhere from every time period and any land the only, uh, the editorial line is really that it's auto documentary films and that our team, someone in the team has a crush for it and want to defend as a big highlight for it. Um, so Tank believes in the necessity to ensure a fair representation of views and more specifically those of marginalized and under, underrepresented communities. So we also work with local actors or civil organization that may be like in the cinema industry um, let's say we've worked in Quebec with Web and Immobile or with Arnaid Production, but we also work with um, organization that may have nothing to do with cinema, but that we want to make sure that we give views to their vision and to their mission. So that's another big important thing about Tank. Um, we, one of the two other things that I may say about our general model, model is that we favor quality over quantity. So that's really the cue, um, the key point about Tank is that we tend to, we try to present less film at a time, which allows us to accompany every film on tank. Um, and then the other thing is, as, as Naomi showed you, is the weekly lineup. So um, our weekly lineup is presented in a clear way and is, is showcasing every five new films. So every film, film gets its moment on tank where it's um, really upfront. I don't know if that's correct in English, but... Um, and now we'll go maybe a bit faster. I'm worried about the time, but... 
and we'll present you our different programming events. So I don't know now if you want to. Uh, I can go like really quickly. We have because how the, the programming works. So we have this kind of a selection that is made by our uh, pro programming team. But we also have some what we call event of programming. We have festivals here that each month we present a festival that is um, currently going on. going on. So now it's Regard and uh, Hervé Cussé. And we choose three movies that are from the last, the, the year just before. We also have Layover. Layover is a really interesting way of presenting movies. It's when we have like a, a programming on a specific team. And most often we work with a guest curator that is specialized on the question. So we can work with journalists, we can work with uh, philosophers, we can work with uh, novelists, we can work with where we want to present like a special point of view about a subject. So now we made a special uh, with QV magazine, we made a new Canadian Voices that is five movies that present like the kind of new emergent uh, documentary community. And we also have, uh, we made something about the river, Saint Laurent River with uh, Paraleuil, which is a, an artist, um, a sound artist, artist center that is uh, from um, uh, Eastern, Quebec. Eastern Quebec. So we present, we have, when we do that, we have a, a text that is a more um, more rigorous and more uh, long text that accompany the, the selection. And we have the five movies. And we even make a special teaser, which I don't find here, but we have a teaser. So we made, we made a lot of uh, layovers about around a lot of themes. We also have uh, fragments here that are curation and uh, uh, about established filmmakers. For example, we made something about around uh, Alan King. It's three movies from us, from each filmmaker. We do a fragments each month about one filmmaker. So we also have this kind of uh, adventure where we go to see all the um, documentary history. history. We made something about Galicia also. also. And um, for the Alan King's movie, let's say we made also French subtitles. So it was the first time that we showcased uh, some work of Alan King with uh, for the French speaker. Yeah, I, I would just add that um, one of the aspects of Tank that we want to develop more, it's that it's that um, thing of preserving the accessibility of documentary film. So that's something we've done, we've done with Alan King with, by, the, by the fact that we translated the films, but we've also digitalized films for the part that had never been shown um, on the web. So let's say the, 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 the special project, Ducks from the Vault was an example, but we did some other films as well. So that's really something that we wanna do more and more is to guarantee the availability of these films and to, to make sure that they remain accessible. Yeah, as that, we work a little bit also like a kind of cinematic of the docu documentary. So all the pages from each film that we created will stay online like forever. So it's a kind of little encyclopedia of documentary and we want also to go further in that and to create some knowledge and some text and some also some interviews with the, the filmmakers when we can. So uh, we can give you an example also of that because we but did. I'm just this. worried about the time though. Um, well, don't you? worry, you still take another five minutes, we're good. Yeah, okay. Cool. And uh, so, yeah, we try to, all this will, will remain accessible and available also for uh, filmmakers and also for um, some people that want to do some research also for the universitarian people also. And finally, we can show you our back catalog. Um, yeah, that's not where I was. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, don't you want to say a thing about our curators and the word that they write on time. Mm -hmm. Okay, just to say that one of um, one of the other thing that we do is like in our way to sh in our yeah in our effort to showcase the film is that each film is accompanied by a word uh, that has been written by our programmer. So the the person who defended it and and selected selected the film present. Um, the film uh, in a more like personal and, and in a deeper way than just a synopsis. So that is the word on, from Tank, which like right now has been uh, written with uh, from by Hubert Sabino Brunet. So yeah, that's one of the thing. And then for Rent, um, here is our back catalog. So that's, we told you that every film were available on Tank for about two months. So that's the SVOD model. We also, uh, have the films, um, some of like, I would say 50, about 50% 50 of the films stay available 
for rental afterwards and only available from, for our subscribers. So you need to subscribe to the, to the platform um, to access that. It's $3 to rent the films. Um, and the, the goal of this is to, again, to preserve the accessibility of films, uh, to make sure that if you want to see the film again or just in a way to centralize like a quality documentary offer in the Canadian landscape. Um, yeah. Um, also, also, um, we can maybe talk a little bit about what is coming. Um, we want to do it faster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will stop um, the sharing. Ah, okay. So that was the platform. Um, now what's coming up with Tank? So we've been around for three years now. So we're, we're celebrating our third anniversary. Um, so you see the, 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 the core idea of Tank is to develop a new business model for the distribution of works in the digital age um, and to solidify a weekend art of form and to accompany it to new audiences. Um, we have many projects, like a lot, a lot of projects, but um, mainly we want to contribute to the creation of knowledge surrounding documentary. We want to contribute to the preservation and accessibility of documentary film heritage. And we want to directly support film creation like France did, um, like Tank and France did uh, and now, is now doing. Um, we've mentioned quickly that we're a co-op. Um, so we aim to represent the actors and organization that drives documentary film in Canada. We've mostly focused on Quebec uh, for the first years because that's the people and the organization we know, and we know that Canada is a big country, so it was just easier to start like um, smaller and, and then to grow. So in the next year, one of our goal will be to be more representative of like documentary of the diversity of creation, documentary creation around that is made around Canada, and to work with organizations um, from all everywhere in the territory. We also want the platform, and you can remember that, to serve the filmmakers, the creators, and the art of documentary filmmaking in general. So if you have like insights for us or needs or, or, or things you would like the co-op to, to act for, um, you can reach out for us. You can also become a member um, of Tank. Duck Canada is a member of Tank. Um, and another way, if you want to support the project, um, is just to subscribe to Tank because that's kind of a reciprocal re relationship where the project won't survive if there's not enough subscribers. So it's really this idea that Tank is engaged um, towards its community and we want the community to be engaged and be part of Tank as well. And as Florence said, like when we started three years ago, we really our like what we knew was really the Quebec industry. And it was we just started during the pandemic. <laughs> so we couldn't move and we couldn't go encounter any anyone that was outside of Quebec and even in, in Montreal, it was also really complicated. So because <clears throat> right now we are starting our for the first time, the uh, real expansion in the rest of the Canada. We will work with also new programmers that are um, English speaker, because as you, you realize, uh, I'm not an English speaker. <laughs> so um, we will work with a lot of per person there. So if you also have like kind of, um, as Laurent said, like insight about important community of documentary of creation that you want to make us known, you can really uh, talk to us because we are also always open to work with new people for special programming. Right now, we worked with POV for special contribution. We will work also with CFMDC to do a special programming. We uh, work with Sofia Bodanovic, which is a, a new voice, really important and fluent documentary. Um, and we worked with um, uh, Winnipeg Film Group and uh, Yukon Film Society. So we try to little by little know what who is who is this community? Who are they? What are they doing? Where are they acting? And we really want to work with independent also filmmakers. So um, we are really excited to have this opportunity to talk with you, even <laughs> if it's by Zoom. <laughs> but uh, we are looking forward to go. We will uh, go to Hot Dogs also. So if you want to meet us there, it will be really interesting. And we will also maybe go to Duxa. So we start our little um, adventure in the rest of the Canada. So thank you to have uh, listened to us. <laughs>
<laughs> no, thank you so much, Naomi and Florence. That's a really good primer on Tank. And I want to remind those who joined us a bit late that if you have a question for Tank, make sure you put it in the Q&A box. Uh, you can do that at any point. I am going to start with a few questions before I turn to the audience questions. And I see a few of you have started um, putting them already into the Q&A box. That's fantastic. Now, I wanted to start by asking you the obvious question, Florence and Naomi, and that is, how do you submit your film to Tank? So this is a tricky question because we are a really, really small organization. And what we do mostly is we work, we um, like a kind of um, import the concept of how do they do in France. So we are uh, like three person that are working full time. Now we are a team that is mostly, that is around six or seven person because we have some person interns or things like that that come, but that don't stay for a long time in tank. And we have this programming team also that with whom we are working, but we don't have like the human resources to get all the proposition, the proposition of the movies. So because we work with programming team, the programming team is all listed on our website. Um, they go and they program at, because these are cinephiles that goes and or filmmakers that goes in festivals that that see a lot of movies or that have special expertise. Sometimes it's like uh, scholars that will work on a special corpus that will, for example, we had a programmer that was working around um, that was doing his her PhD around the feminist uh, video uh, from the 60s and 70s. So she gave us a lot of movies from that time that would never being seen in other way, but they stay for one year because we really want and really believe in the circulation of, uh, of the, the site. So we want to have a lot of different visions and don't have this kind of, it's the real life that won't move. We want to, to represent the more we can. But that being said, I'm also open to receive some proposition. Sometimes people write to me and send me, the, send me their screener. So maybe sometimes I can give that screen, screener to a program, uh, to a curator that I think that is interested in those kind of work, or I can watch the movie too, because we sometimes we work with the um, right holder and sometimes the movies that we want to have are not available. So we need to find a movie for our lineup and oh, okay, I have this movie that I just saw. So sometimes it can work. And we just don't do any prom promise that we will have the time to watch the movies and to treat them. So for the moment, that is the kind of organical way of the curatorial team is working. Still, we are open to... Uh, and I would just add that, as mentioned earlier, there's no... Um, like, if you have a films from the 1980s that you want to show, like, we're not attached to having new films. So, like, that's really, as long as it's author-driven documentary, um, we can take everything. That, that doesn't mean we're going to program it, but there's really no, no limit there. Um, Our way of programming is also, the most of the time, it's things that will resonate with uh, actuality. So if the movie, like you say, oh my God, I made this important movie that has to be seen right now to understand the, the situation in Russia and Ukraine, maybe that then you can send us because we really try to, we really believe that those important movies that are made on long time, sometimes the filmmakers will work like five, six, seven years on a movie. And for us, it's there is no reason that the movie will die. It's an important movie that has a long reflection and sometimes it can be really important to watch those movies right now even more than in the past because they will they will uh, highlight on some things that are important and also we really believe in the kind of uh, not rewriting but re um, rediscovering another way of doing the history of cinema so it's really important for us that the history of cinema that was written in one way that we can okay we can find other histories that were hidden, that weren't represented, that we never heard about when we went to film school. So we are interesting and there is even those kind of, uh, of words. Okay, great. Now, how can they get in touch with you, Naomi and Florence? Your Tank website has a contact us. Yes, there's a contact us. There's even our email address in the our team page. I, uh, I will have to look if it's, if, Maybe we need to do it since you, because Naomi was on a maternity leave, leave but the, the whole team is, is there and you have our direct ad email address. And so, yeah, basically it's, you can submit film. The, the only thing is that since we don't have the human resources like a festival do, let's say, we can't guarantee that we'll give you a feedback like in a decent amount of time. That's, that's about it. 
that's good to know. Uh, I also wanted to ask you, what rights do you take and what are the fees? Yeah, so we take SVOD rights non-exclusive for two months. We work with fixed license, so um, it's $200 for a two months SVOD license, Canadian rights, non-exclusive again, and $150 for short land films to, uh, yeah, for short land films. This is like, so the, the one of our goal again is to as our revenue um, increase, we want to increase the, the license that we give to right holders as well. So like that's going to be kind of a, a relation that will go together. Um, and the VOD, yeah, so what, when we showed you, you the back catalog, so unless we work, so it's $3 to rent the film for 48 hours, and it's a 50-50 um, share of revenue, revenue with the right holder. Great. So how does it work if you have a broadcaster or a distributor or if you have a festival coming up for a film? Yeah, um, well, so we really want documentary films to be shown everywhere and, and, to, and to meet its public. That's why Tank is there. It's to showcase film and to develop new publics for documentary films. So for us, there's no idea of, oh, if it's been shown before or if you have a distributor or um, you cannot have it on Tank, there's no issue there. Um, so it's more up to you. Let's say you want to present it on a festival. Maybe you can, um, well, then often festival like won't, will not want to screen the film it's, if it's been on an online platform. So we'll just present it afterwards. Um, so yeah, that's really, I don't know if it answered the question, but it's really, really open and we have no, we work, we, we work with uh, filmmakers, but we, most of the films that we buy are from producer directly or distributors. So that's never been an issue and it can be on, on the other online platform as well. Um, just, yeah. Do you ever come on board um, before a film is finished to help with marketing or distribution plans? So that hasn't been done yet. And that's kind of the big question. Um, it's something we want to do. Uh, but it's something we haven't done yet. So like, I think that next year, 2023, we'll be trying to see how we can help in which way we're gonna like um, trigger funding for films and what's, what will be our contribution. So we kind of have to decide what type of model um, that works for Tank and for the documentary community. And that's, yeah, that's the, our biggest development in 2023. 23. Yet we don't have like the, um, we are not a distributor. So we would like work maybe with distributors yeah. or like help the work of the others, but we won't take that place. We are more working, we're working like a broadcast uh, tool. And what I, how I see, I, I, I see a little bit the tank, it's um, the, the second circle, like of the distributor that is working, festival, theaters, and then the movie could disappear. And then we are there trying to make revive th those kind of work and um, keep them alive. We are also want to, to develop uh, institutional um, offer so that documentary, I really believe in documentary uh, as the tool of education. So we really want to work like in, and develop a special model that, will, that we could use those kind of movies to go and, uh, and schools that the, the teacher could take the movie and we could make like educational um, accompaniment so that they can use the movie. So that would be like the third circle. <laughs> we really see like how to, to keep alive those yeah. important film. But we have planned to get on board while a film is, is, be, is being produced. Um, it's just that there's so many parameters that we need to check. So that's, we, we just started that. Uh, that project, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess this is a question also hooks into tax credits because there's been a little bit of talk about that. I, you were exploring how you can actually trigger tax credits, but you don't do that yet. Am I correct? We do, we do it yet for the federal tax credit. So basically we've been recognized uh, by CAFCO as an official platform. Um, so we do trigger a federal tax credit. In Quebec, we don't trigger yet um, provincial tax credit, but we're in discussion with SADEC uh, and when, with the Quebec government for this. And that's one thing we want to do this, uh, like 
We don't have an, underst an understanding of how it works for each province. So we have an understanding of Quebec province and federal levels, um, but, but we'll have to get more information about, let's say, tax credit in other provinces um, and, and what are the, the requirements. Okay, great. Can you tell us a bit about your viewership? Who is uh, momentarily actually using Tank and, you know, what's the future vision of it? That's really hard to say because we're the no no abonnés. Ah, le prof, leur profil. That's really hard to say because since we're only online, um, we have a hard time getting data about who's actually watching. We know that I think it's about 50, 50 men and, and women. Um, a lot of people are from Montreal. Um, but besides that, it's we don't have a clear part. It's kind of a mystery a bit. Mm. <laughs> But it's mostly uh, from Montreal, which is really something that we find important to expand because we feel being online, we also really believe in the access of important films for people that are outside of the big cities. So we really think that we should be more present in region or outside of the big cities, even if we want to be in big cities, of course, but it's where people can meet culture. So we also want to give the opportunity of people. But for that, we need to go and places and because of the pandemic because of our two first years were pandemic years we didn't have the, the opportunity to do that but we really want to do that and also be present maybe in the the public library so that can give free access to some people so like we really one of our uh, mission is also to uh, make some education or promotion of the of the author driven documentary we we, we also realize that a lot of people don't yet know what is other driven documentary yeah. or that thing that documentary is the same thing as what they see sometimes on tv which is important also but it's not the same kind of work okay great um I'm, i am going to turn to some of the questions that you've been busy putting in the q a box so we've got some questions from the audience some of them you've answered so i'll try to go a bit through them to see which ones we can still address there is a question about your programming um and the idea being who uh um, we know you've told us a bit about who makes the programming decisions, but how do you select your programmers? So some can suggest and write to you, but how do you select your programmers? The programming team is, um, as I say, is uh, changing, rotating. rotating. So we try to have a representation like we have a parity. So uh, the same amount of men and women. And we have to, we try to, have people that are um, representing uh, different type of cinema also. Mostly they are filmmakers. So um, they, it's really like the people that are really invested in the Quebec documentary community. And for now, I am looking for uh, programmers in the rest of the Canada. And that was a question I was like, okay, how can I do that? But for now, what I do is like, I kind of cartography. I, I kind of look at who is doing what in the Canada. So I'm saying, okay, there is this Winnipeg film group. There is something there. I could find someone. There is the, um, uh, in the Eastern Canada. There are some people working there. I will try to have someone from there. They're from someone from the North, someone. So we try to like represent a representative of each community of creation, as I may say. And people like are uh, in, exp um, in the are... fields or have different expertise. Yeah. So like um, when we first started Tank, we kind of draft every type of film that like we needed to have a type of programmers that like we tried, we took every film's idea as a film and we were like, well, do we have a programmers that could program it? So let's, so we kind of, I don't know how to say that, but the idea was to make sure that everyone would have an expertise or an interest, but that that would ensure every type of author documentary film to be shown on time. So let's say there was a kind of portrait film. The, there was a historian memory film. There was environmental film. There was experimental movie. There was art movies and also when we feel that there is a lack of representation for some type we go and make a layover for uh, to to look around those uh, creation like each year we have more than we have around 2050 movies that are 
250. 250. <laughs> 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 250. That's a lot. And even if it's not 2000 yet. Yeah. But we've shown so far. But we've shown a lot of movies. We've shown about 850 films since, since the beginning of the film. Mm. Oh, that's great. That's really good to hear. Um, I also have a question from a filmmaker, Sandy Greer, who you can see actually here, um, who had a film that got in through a contest um, that Doc had with Tank, the, as I mentioned, the Docs from the Vault. And her question is, um, if you are considering having a similar contest for older films again sometime. Actually, uh, we've discussed this with Sarah. Um, and, and for that specific project, we did uh, get funding from it for it. And that's what allowed it to be possible because we don't like for the programming films that that's okay. That's our like usual budget. But when we have to digitalize films or stuff like that, um, uh, we need to find fundings. So we've tried to do an, a similar project. It didn't work, but I'm sure there will be other occasion uh, in, the, in the years to come that uh, where we'll do something similar. Like let's say right now we're working with the Fric, um, so the Front des Réalisateurs Indépendants du Canada, because we've realized there was not many uh, films for, from the French-speaking Canadian on tank. Um, and, and so we've worked with them a bit like we did with Doc um, to have films. So we'll make sure that there will be other projects like this going on in the, in the next year. Great. Um, I want to encourage those um, who are listening, if you have any questions, this will be your last few chances to ask, so make sure you put them in the Q&A box so we can get to them. Um, I do have another question for you uh, that asks if you need E&O insurance to submit films to Tank. No, no, which Wait. makes it easier. <laughs> that makes it much, much easier. Uh, wonderful. Those are uh, most of our questions so far i'll give everybody still another minute um and if there's anything you want to add florence and naomi that we should really know uh, please do go ahead uh, we were talking taking talking about how tank um will come to support like films uh at the production stage i think one thing we didn't say is that we won't obviously like there's certain type of films that have um that for for Cite a certain time of certain I need water, sorry. <laughs> certain type of project that finds uh, funding much easier. Um, so Tank will be attached to the idea of funding underrepresented or films that would have more difficulty to find fun to find fundings. Um, because that's that's a bit what, like our identity and what we are. And also, it's not always easy easy to find funding for like author documentary films. So that's we will be really attached to have like um, an editorial line that will be clear. Um, and that's where we need works also to like know how many films are you are you will we able will we be able to support and and how exactly will we be able? So we're working our with our board right now to explicit those questions. Okay, great. I um, may have also something to add, but it's not a question. It's but not. In fact, it's not something. It's a question. <laughs> I re, I would be really interesting because we have the opportunity to have those thirty five participants there to know how do they see and conceive tank. Because when we were uh, starting, we were in Quebec, so we could have made meet the the documentary the filmmaker community and to feel what they were thinking about tank and everything. But we didn't have the the chance to. I have the, in, in the French, we say the temperature of the water to see like, oh, it's going there. So I would be really interested to hear anyone that want to share a little bit about how they, they see and feel the arrival of Tank and their uh, landscape. There has been a few really nice comments actually in the chat about Tank that you could definitely probably maybe take a look. Um, but I also would encourage you if you want, you can also enter that into the chat. We'll leave it open a bit after. So you, Florence and Naomi, you can also read it. So if you want to take a minute and you know give us your impressions of Tank by putting it in the chat, that would be really great. Um, or what uh, would be the, your desire or needs or so? We are, yeah, because we are core. Yeah, that sounds really great. Please do feel free if you would like to take a minute to say it out loud, you can. We are coming towards more of the end. And I do have another question that's in the chat for you guys. Um, someone's asking about um, getting audience demographics. And they're wondering if you're using Google Analytics 
And have you not started collecting data and analyzing it yet? And they're just sort of wondering, are you keeping track of, you know, tank viewership and where perhaps? Yeah. Not enough. So yes, we do. We are using Google Analytics. Um, we need to consider like it's it's just that we need to configure it in a much more like in more in details to get actually quality data. So right now we have data, but we need to to have quality data. And one of the issue, if I may say with Tank, is that we lack resources. So that's one thing where we don't have time as is, is like really. Yeah, the, the data is one of our biggest issue and we're, we're aware of that, but yeah, it's mm. gonna be a, one aspect of our work in the, I hope in the next year, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, we're a really small team and, and we, yeah, we kind of, yeah, exactly. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> great. great, so it's a work in progress, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, that's great to hear. There's a lot for you guys to do in the coming years. Um, now, this is our last chance for anyone who would like to ask a question, go ahead, pop it in the chat. If you have a comment you want to make, also feel free, as Naomi did ask you um, your impressions of Tang so far. Um, and if there aren't any comments or questions anymore, then I would like to thank Florence and Naomi for your very, very generous answers and your presentation. Tank sounds very exciting and I welcome everybody to check it out. Please do remember that you get a 40% discount and you can go to the benefits page of the documentary organization to uh, see how you can sign up. We also have both Naomi and Florence's email address. Uh, you will see that in the chat, we'll post it again, uh, but please do reach out as they have said. Great, thank, you so, thank you so much Florence and Naomi. Thank you. Have a good day. Have a good day. Have a great day, everybody. Goodbye.